Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were gathering the last of the Motley crew. So, now I think it's about time we head back to Crescent Island, which unfortunately is a little ways away, but that's okay. We just need to head north. I suppose what we could do on the way back to Marumbra, or however you say it, Marumbra, we could go to the kebab shop, the kebab skewer shop, and talk to what's her name's mother. Just for shits and giggles. I guess there's no harm in getting this side quest rolling. The only thing is, I've got to try and remember where that was. I'm pretty sure it's in the inn. Which means we need to get back on board a double. But that's okay. Shouldn't have any issues doing such things. Okay. Go grab this happy little fella. Yeah, because this is actually quite a long side quest, and I believe you do need to do this um, to get the 100% completion. I can't actually remember what you get for doing this. I actually think it's pretty significant. I'm not sure if we have everything that we need. I remember me and the games librarian were talking about this, uh, but that was like over a month ago. <laughs> um, and I did have... I wrote down the items that I need, but... Uh, I'm not 100% sure which ones I have. I have it all written down where I need to get everything anyway. I know we need to get some spice and a few other different things. But we'll cross that bridge. This does not look like where we need to be. Uh, she quit. I still don't believe she left. She used to bring in so many customers. She did leave a message though. I decided that finding out how vast the desert is will have to wait for another time, handsome. A sailor must be prepared for any situation, but I underestimated you. I will not a second time. Farewell for now. We shall meet again. Well, that's all she wrote. I couldn't figure it out. Do you know what she meant? Yeah, yeah, kind of. So you don't have any other dancers? If you're still wondering why I'm still here, even though Belle, uh doesn't work here anymore it's because I've never seen a woman quite like her before and believe me I've been looking for a very long time well I suppose you don't have many priorities in life I have even seen her dancing in my dreams lately I just cannot forget her I do not know what to do uh, get a life maybe I don't know damn right do this was our friend's shop. She's obviously no longer here. Where's the kebab shop then? Um, unless we're in the wrong area, which we actually could be. Pretty sure we're not though. One of these places has got to sell kebabs. See, pretty sure it'd be quicker just to walk here. But what do I know, I suppose? Um, yeah, the thing is with this quest as well, it doesn't really log anything down. It doesn't, like, you know, remind you or tell you. There's no quest log as such in this game. Very old school in that sense. Uh, what's in here? Uh, I guess nothing. That's the inn. Pretty sure she's not in the inn. Though she might be. That's definitely not her mother. Uh, now we're good. Hopefully, we didn't insult them by saying nine! Sword shop. What's in here? Ah! This has got to be her. There we go. I remember you. You were that sailor that came here a little while ago. What is your wish? 
What? My, my daughter? She's alive? Well, good for her. Not that it means anything to me anymore. She does not expect me to forgive her and take her back now, does she? Ah, she's a stupid girl. She is my daughter no more. Leave my shop. Oh. Oh. Well. Well, well, well. I think we should go and tell her what she said. Grumpy old woman. I mean, I guess I can understand, but that's still a little bit on the savage side. Then I suppose grumpy, miserable. But she kind of looked like a grumpy, miserable old bat, to be honest. Hmm. Let's see how far we can actually get with this quest. It is, unfortunately, a lot of this back and forth, though. It's kind of a really drawn-out quest. But I've never done it. <laughs> I certainly never did it um, back on the Dreamcast, because obviously I had no idea this was even a quest, because, you know, like I say, there's no quest logs, there's nothing like that. Really? Just one of you, a Lupin? Well, I'll gladly take the gold off your hands. Or whatever it is you have instead of hands. Right. At least it's not that far away. Now I know it does there is more to it than this. It's not just back and forth, back and forth from these two places. Come on. Eventually you do actually need to go off and quest and find things. I know you need three ingredients for a start. So she's probably going to be like really mortally upset and offended. Or maybe not. I suppose there is just straight up the chance that we can't do this quest yet. Although, we are pretty far through the game. What? You went to Marumba and spoke with my mother? What did she say? I see. I guess you can't ex expect her to forgive such a selfish daughter so easily. But I was telling the truth when I said I never stopped thinking about her. And my mother isn't young anymore. I do worry about her health. What can I do? Hmm. That lady seemed real hard-headed though. I wonder if there really is anything that we can do. Perhaps if we can somehow prove to your mother that you haven't stopped thinking about her all those years. Prove to her. Hmm. Now, if only there was something we could show her, something to prove it. I know a way. There's one thing I can show her to prove it. Kabul skewers. When I was little, my mother would try and teach me her special Kabul skewer recipe. Yeah, and if you could make a school uh, Kabul skewer using her recipe, it would show your mum that you haven't forgotten what she taught you. Would you mind waiting for a little bit? I'm going to make some Kabul skewers. It's done. You can, If you can get my mother to eat this, I'm sure she'll understand how I feel. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll try. Uh, I don't think this is going to quite win her over, but, yeah, well, you know. I don't suppose we've got anything to lose, have we? I mean, we're just the middleman in all this. Spending out precious resources just for this. Moonstone fuel. I guess we're paying the crew wages and food. Hmm. I assume we're paying them a wage. Unless they just get a cut of the plunder, which ain't much.
Okay. I guess we're going back. Let's go. I would like it if you could, like, you know, refuel your, your ship. Oh, excuse me. Pay wages, that kind of stuff. I like that sort of dynamic. I'd love a proper, like, you know, game where you can assemble a crew and go searching for adventure, pay wages, refuel, pay maintenance out. Get into battles, upgrade your ships. There's been games like that before, but not really these days. I mean, I guess we've got Star Citizen. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh, I can't believe I paid into that. And Elite Dangerous as well, but I always found Elite Dangerous lacking. I don't know why. It's kind of like it's, it had all the basics. It just, I don't know. It needed more. Right. Anyway, let's get back before this kebab goes cold. Do love a nice, delicious kebab. Ugh. Yes. Alright, well, let's get this kebab to where it needs to be going. We're a pretty nice guy. To be doing all this. For no other reason. Then somebody asked us to. Hello. You are persistent. I will give you that. What is it this time? You wish me to taste something. Uh, yeah. But it's... It's a Kabul skewer. What? You're telling me that my good-for-nothing girl who ran away from home made this Kabul skewer? You, you expect me to believe that? <laughs> well, let's at least see what it tastes like. No, it's nothing like the Kabul skewer I make. The person who made this can't be my daughter. I taught her better than this. It has an odd smell, the seasonings are bland, and worst of all, the meat is just not of the same quality. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess they can only get so much meat and spices and whatnot. Probably quite hard to come by where they are. So, let's go relay that information back. We could probably speed this up a little bit. All this back and forth. Right. Let's go. Ah, that's definitely quicker. That's much quicker. Alright, maybe <laughs> that's not quite so insufferable. Come on, Vase, run! Run, boy! Basically, your mum said your cooking's a load of old shit. Sorry. Hello. You brought the Kabul skewer to my mother? Mara, what did she say? Huh? She said the skewer that I made didn't taste the same as hers. She said it smelled funny. It wasn't spiced correctly and the quality of the meat you used is different. She noticed, huh? There's no way I can duplicate my mother's Kabul skewers with the ingredients in this town. I remember exactly how to cook it, but I don't have the same ingredients and spices. What should I do? Tell us what you need. We'll bring it to you. <laughs> really? Oh, come on, Vase. Jesus. That would be a great help. Here's what I need. I need um, gentum for the scent, kale for the seasoning, and kabul meat. Would you bring these three ingredients to me? If I have these, I know I'll be able to make my mother's special kabul skewer. Gentum, kale, and kabul. Leave it to us. Uh, and I don't think we actually have any of these. 
but we can go get them. But before we do anything, let's go get our ship upgraded. Before we get too deep into that quest. Let's get out of here. It's a shame fast forwarding all this because I really like the music in this place, but we got stuff to do, man. People to see. Places to be, yo. Okay, right, well, we've got our shopping list anyway. We'll work through that another time. Let's go home. Pretty sure we've got a humongous amount of cash to spend out when we get back to our island. Now, I know you can buy some of the ingredients uh, at the bazaar, I think. Some of the other ingredients you can get at the bistro. And I forget the other one off the top of my head. Right. Okay, let's go. Now, which way is home? Kind of straight ahead, actually. We cut through here. Like so. Keep heading north. Ooh, we're in Valua. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not being Valua. Not that we're afraid of them or anything. We just we don't have time to get into combat right now. Present Islands. Wow, we went a really long time then without getting into combat, which was actually rather refreshing. And tell we're around Valuer because the enemies have taken on yellow abilities. That was a nice pot of gold. Very nice. Come on, where's home sweet home? We know it's here somewhere. Ah, we've overshot it apparently. Go south. There. Ugh. Close. So close. Right, everybody, repel borders. Now we're going to go get a whole load of more crew. And then we can start looking at getting this quest done. And then once our ship is fully upgraded, you better believe we're going to be hunting discoveries. Present Isle. Ah, oh, good to be home. Base, Crescent Isle, it's straight ahead. Yep. Yep, that's Crescent Isle, alright. But it looks different. If we reach Crescent Isle by flying east from Euphotoma, that means we sailed around the world. You have found the world is round. Yep, that's a discovery. Until now, nobody knew what lay beyond the end of the world, and it was commonly thought to be a long, turbulent drop into nothingness. But after the Blue Rogue Vase returned from the voyage around the world, it became known that the world was round. Hey, Vase, how does it feel to have sailed around the world with your very own ship? I want to see more. I want to see more. I don't think I'll be happy until I see the whole world. I know there's more out there. <laughs> to think we just made it home and Vase is already talking about sailing some more. How typical of him. Yeah, alright, Fina. Alright. Well, this ain't looking too shabby, is it? I can actually get a moonfish here. Got our flag and everything. Looks like there are some new buildings that weren't there before. Yeah, like uh, all of them. Ismail probably built them whilst we were gone with the money we gave him. I wonder what Crescent Isle looks like now. Hurry up and land, base. 
Alright, I can't wait to check it out. Is there any need to spin the wheel like that? I mean, come on, dude. Well, look at this. They have been busy. They haven't just taken the money and run. Not bad. Welcome home. Well, how do you like what we've done with the place? I have to say, I'm really impressed with your work. <laughs> what did you expect from the greatest builder that ever lived? If you keep the gold coming in, we'll keep adding on. Yeah, there's quite a lot we can do yet. I've been busy too. I made new armor plating for the Delphinus hull. It's super sturdy. After I add it onto your ship, you'll be able to fly through those pesky stone reefs without a hitch. Thank you both for everything you've done for us. I would like you both to join my crew aboard the Delphinus. That reminds me, I got this whilst we were in your Fatoma. Can you do anything with it? Well, shiver me timbers. I've never seen this type of technology before in my life. With this type of engine, you'll be able to fly higher than the clouds and lower than you've ever imagined. I'll get started on this baby in a jiffy. Vase, we should figure out what we're going to do next. <laughs> I knew somebody would say that. That's why I built a meeting room into the wall of the cliff. You can all go to. Uh, you can do all of your planning from there. You built us a meeting room? Wow, you're great, Ismail. Let's go check it out. He gave the book on polarity to Babham. I don't think he's ever been this excited. So there we go, we've got an engineer and we've got a builder. So, here we go. Energetic girl, nice to meet you. You're Captain Vase, right? Captain Clara has ordered me to come aboard the Delphinus and train with your crew so I can be a better gunner. Oh, and my friends Lily and Nara are coming with me. I hope you don't mind. We're a team. We'll take care of your cannons. We're going to knock those Valiants out of the sky. Sure. And your name is... Oh, sorry, I forgot. I mean, I didn't forget my name. I just forgot to tell you. I wouldn't forget my name. That would be silly. I'm Belle. I don't have much experience with cannons, but I'll try my best. Okay, right, so she's going to train. Blah, 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 but she has no experience with her... Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Well, you seem enthusiastic enough. I'll give you a chance, and we'll see how you do. Yes, sir. I will do my best, sir. Bell has joined your crew as a gunner. All right, so... We now have a new member of crew. Ideal. Right, let's drop a save there. Nearly 50 hours. It's going to be one of my longest LPs that I've ever done. Uh, let's have a little squeeze around our new digs, shall we? Ah, hello. Hey there. Hey, Captain Vase, do you want to buy some cannons? Wait, hang on, you're selling me cannons? One fucking minute here, Sonny Jim. Uh, I suppose we don't have much choice. Two little girls just came in here and offered to help us. Their leader said she uh, went to greet the captain. Did you see them? Yeah, we saw them. Right, so we have ancient cannons. Ooh, and a weevil cannon. A secondary cannon designed for battleships has blue properties and high accuracy. Ooh, that's interesting. It's not actually that good. Arc whale torpedo. Yeah, that's better. Right, what have we got here? Goddess figure. Air intakes. Chandeliers. Very nice. Luxurious lighting, favoured by value and nobility. Brings a touch of opulence to airborne life. Yeah, well, uh. Don't really need that. Rudder grease. Complete kits. And they're not that expensive. Not really. Uh, I mean, 
I mean, they're expensive enough, but if that's going to completely re store our ship then I suppose it's not too bad right looks like we're about to swap out the Yamato cannons should have bought two of those right let's get another one I knew this was going to be expensive but it's worth it uh, serpent torpedo can be replaced by the arc whale torpedo Torpedo, both good range and destructive power. That's what we want. Now, do we want to swap out for the Weevil Cannon? Hmm. I don't know. Expensive. I mean, its hit is much higher. I don't know. I mean, its attack is way lower. Blue properties and high actually. I don't know, actually. I'll have to have a word with uh, Chris, the game's librarian, to see if that's any good. Right, let's sell these anyway. Make some of that money back. Not a huge amount. But money is money, I guess. Cool. Yeah, we'll be back. Thank you very much. Well, I suppose it's good that we're allowing our crew to make their own business here. I, I'm i okay with this. If you need something, just ask Kazim. Yep, don't worry. I like to think all of our crew can be uh, prosperous. So, what else have we got here? Hey! You hired me to do a job, I'm doing the job. I'm not obliged to talk to you when I'm off your ship. You son of a bitch. And our little papa here, Pow, is enjoying himself with some high quality food. Good on him. Uh, now, there is, before we leave, we need to pick a destination. We should head to the meeting room. Okay, that's how we leave this place. Noted. Look at the size of our ship. It's pretty burly. Okay. So, let's have a word with you. If I can successfully build a new engine with the book you bought me back from um, Yiftoma, the Delphinus will be able to fly to new heights. While you're out on your next voyage, I'll be studying and building. Yes, sir. Oh, so we can't actually... Okay, so it takes a little bit of time. Make sure you use the meeting room that I built for you. There isn't a finer meeting room under the six moons. Good man. This... Oh, there we go. Got a cham. Lovely. It's not just a cham that we're looking for. There is also... Ooh, look at this. This is where maintenance happens. Important to maintain the cannons so they work well when it really counts. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, it is important. There are some tools and... Alright, who left their dirt, their dirty towel here? Pretty disgusting. Really? Maybe it's just a grease rag? I'm just saying. Come on, babes. Alright, let's go explore. So, we've managed to find a cham... Oh, we've got a couple of options here. Ooh. Wait a minute. Ah, look at this. There we go. Excellent. We need to pay him some more money for installing that. Give him a juicy bonus. Good work, that man. Very nice. Okay. So, it looks like we've got a couple of options here. Pretty sure if we come out here. Yep. This leads us to the ground floor. Look at this. This is spiffy. Hmm. There she is. That old Ismail really is something. Just watching him makes me want to start building things for you. So how about it? It will cost you some gold, but I guarantee you a job well done. 
I can't just sit here whilst Ismail has all the fun. Uh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Which building do you want me to remodel? Right, so. Um, we can remodel things here. And it will give them an Eastern art style. Or Eastern architecture. Which is really cool. Living quarters. So you want me to remodel the living quarters. It's going to cost 2,000 gold to do that. Are you sure you want to go through with it? Yes. Okay, leave it to me. I'll have it all fixed up for you the next time you come back to the island. I actually... Whenever I see cement, I feel like putting footsteps in it. I better not, though. Ismail probably wouldn't like it very much. Yeah, probably, probably not. So this is the living quarters, I believe. This is a really nice island. It's even in a great location, too. We should be able to go on all sorts of adventures from here. Yep. I never thought that I would ever be able to get out of Valua, and I never knew the outside world was so big. After your little pep talk, I've been wanting to see as much of the world as I can. Thanks, Vase. I can't wait to go sailing again. Excellent! I love the smell of roasting sausages by the fireplace. Oh, that sounds really good. Nice place. I do like... You know, even the standard buildings look pretty cool, to be fair. So whose room is this? Hmm, maybe they're just anybody's. Kind of get the feeling we need more than a couple of uh, rooms here. Oh, this has got to be Ica's or maybe Fina's. Wait a minute, there was a picture frame. I would have thought that the, us main members would have had our own quarters, but there we go. Very fancy stuff. Lovely. Love it. Right, what else have we got? Now, one thing I will point out. There is actually a moonfish on this island. It's up there. You can just about see it. Hopefully you can pick that up on YouTube. Um, now, that moonfish was always there. You could see it when we first arrived as well. But obviously you just couldn't get it yet. Ooh, this looks fancy. I have heard the royal family of Valua is cruel and the people of Valua are cold-hearted. But Enrique is so nice. Marco is cute too. I think that it's wrong to judge people just because they come from somewhere else. Well, yes, that is true. Just because the leadership of a country is a bunch of bastards that should be hung doesn't mean the general populace should follow the same fate. Oh, face. Um, this is a really nice tavern. I wish I could serve Yofotoma food to everybody on the island. Uh, but I guess that's impossible without renovating the kitchen. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll just miss my kitchen back home. You can have whatever you deem you need. We have the money. When I heard this place used to be a desert island, I figured it would be even more depressing than Esperanza. But you've got a good variety of food and drinks here, and you've assembled quite a crew. You're doing a great job. Thank you. This place isn't bad. It sort of reminds me of my tavern back on Sailor's Island. I think I'll be able to cook here. But the kitchen could use a little work. It needs some remodeling if I'm going to make some of my more popular dishes. Well, again, that's fine. Uh, we can absolutely do that. <laughs> Robin's... Can somebody get this man some clothes and a bath? Jesus. I lost everything that was dear to me. I lost it all in the dark rift. All I had to keep me going was my memories of Polly. It was during those years in the dark rift that I realised just how important Polly was to me. I never knew how much I, I had until it, till she was gone. I'm going to stay by her side until we finish this. Then I'm heading back to Sailor's Island. Till you finish what? Till we finish this fight? 
Right, anyway guys, we're actually out of time here, sadly, because I still kind of want to... Oh, hello. This is a very beautiful island you've found, Vase. This pond reminds me of home. It's relaxing. I wish that I could just sit here like this forever. Well, sit there for as long as you like. I don't care. Right, anyway, guys, we're going to drop a save here now. And in the interest of prosperity, we're also going to drop a save state or four. Uh, when we come back, I guess we're going to have one last little look around this island. And then it's back to business, I guess. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.